Hi everyone, and welcome back to Stephanie Random Reacts. Well, today I'll be reacting to British words that are rude in America. Yep, British words that are rude in America. I could probably think of a few words maybe that we use normally. What use in America would you kind of say no I'm not saying that word at all that's too rude to say or it's diography I think that's the, the, the pronunciation is it I know I'm not good at words and all that I know I'm trying to see the word in my head in my but derography or something I'm trying to see it in my head but I doubt that's right but yeah you know what I mean anyway words you cannot use in America They'll probably get you arrested, or maybe a beat up or two, maybe. <clears throat> one, or two, one or two of them might be the words I know. Uh, but, let's jump into this video, and we'll see what words these people have picked out for us to watch. So, I'm... Um, no, I think I know maybe one word but make them up. One word but make them up. But, yeah. Let's jump into this and we'll see. Stan. No. Hi, we're Joel and Leah. And we are joined today with Jess. Yeah. Hi. We've done videos before, but we are thrilled to have you back on the channel. Yeah, Thanks as a having. genuine American. A genuine. <laughs> <laughs> So today's video is about British words that are rude in America. Mm -hmm. So We did a video not that long ago about American words that are rude in the UK. It went down really well, but some of you pointed out to us that there are words that work the other way around. Yeah. So we got chatting with Jess and she can confirm this. Yes, I can <laughs> confirm that is correct. <laughs> so we're going to go through five words that have a different meaning in the US with a slight sort of Rude twist, would you say? Yeah, rude mm -hmm. or strange. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so we kick it off with the first word. So the first word is rubber. <laughs> I feel weird saying it. I'm like, it's, it means nothing here. Yeah. So I have to, I'll tell a story of how I came to, to find out what rubber means here. Okay. Um, okay. I was at work one day and a friend of mine was like, yeah, I went to this event with this company last night and they gave away goodie bags and it had like this and that and rubbers in it. And I was like... What? How did they get condoms in there? <laughs> what? That's <laughs> so like, that's funny. not what I mean. <laughs> that's hilarious. That's amazing. So rubber is just an eraser. Yeah. Um, so if you make a mistake with your pencil, it's uh, just I guess because it feels like rubber. Yeah. Or maybe it is made of rubber. I don't know. But I yeah. yeah. In, in the UK, that's just what we call erasers. But we call them... Well, that's what we call, like, a nickname for condoms in the US. <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> My well, brother's I... called... John, Johnny, and sometimes rubber Johnny is such a horrible word to call it. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know if that Americans call no, we, rubber Johnnies. No, we don't say Johnny. I, you're testing me on my condom nickname skills. I'm not sure how up to date I am with them. I'm not so. actually that up to date. <laughs> Get a little too personal at this point. <laughs> so okay, good. moving on to the right. next one. So the next word is fag. Which I know is a very derogatory word in America. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's unfortunately what some people still might call someone who's gay, but it's you wouldn't say that. You're not supposed to say it. It's a it's yeah a derogatory oh, okay. term. But you guys, that's what you call cigarettes. Cigarettes. Yeah. Yeah. Have you got any fags? I need to go and buy fags. I'm going out for a fag. fag. Yeah, yeah, we say it all the time. If, the word fag means just means cigarette. Yeah. And also, when we were preparing for this video, I remembered that faggot is a meatball product that we have here in the UK. It's a classic UK dish. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's not very They're not nice. Very nice. <laughs> um, I've not tried any, but they're like offcuts of like pork and other meats, just all sorts of stuff together, and they're called faggots. Yeah. Which you can buy at the butchers or over the counter. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we've but got a lot of words that have got fag in it that mean, yeah. just mean meat or cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> right. right. Yeah, don't say that in the US. Yeah. Because that would be another, because I guess fag is short for faggot, so. Yeah. Um, another rude oh. way to, it's another meaning. Oh, okay. Oh, so so that's like the long form of fag. Yeah, faggot. Exactly. Oh, yeah. gosh. 
Well, there you go. Yeah. I think that's the rudest one we've got on our list. Yeah, I yeah. think so too. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're turned off, don't worry, you can turn back on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another word is homely, which in the US, if you call somebody or if you say something's homely, it means like old and um, like run down. Like if you called a man or a woman, you'd, people would probably say it to a woman, unfortunately. But uh, if you called a woman homely, it's like, it, it's an insult because it means oh, like wow. she doesn't like she's old, almost like, like an old hag, or like a, it's just no. not very nice. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's, homey. it's not very nice. That whereas, is terrible. Yeah, whereas when our estate agent was showing us around our place, they were mm. like, oh, it's nice and homely, it's really comfy, it's cosy. Yeah. A homely place is somewhere you want to live. Yeah, it's cosy, but I think in America you say homey, yeah, don't you? Yeah, exactly. So just yeah. without the L. Yeah, homey. It's very homey. Yeah. That's interesting, because I think one of you guys who watches our videos sent me a message saying that they watched some Brits go on an American program where they're looking for the perfect American house and they walked in and they're like, oh, it's so lovely and homely and the estate agent or the realtor was like, what? <laughs> this is a really nice place. And they're like, yeah, I know, that's why I said it's homely. And like, <laughs> it had a complete different that's meaning. That's so funny. <laughs> so thanks to that person who pointed that one out. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I love it that it's to do with the same thing but has the one tire. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. The one letter makes all the difference. Yeah. yeah so, uh, so this one's a bit different. It doesn't necessarily mean anything rude in the US, I don't think. Um, but I don't think you'd heard it before you came yeah. here. Yeah. The phrase up the duff, which in the UK just means you're pregnant. Yeah. Uh, it's a horrible <laughs> phrase. I think it's a weird, yeah. The first time I heard someone say that about, like, a friend, I was like, what? <laughs> up the duff. <laughs> Why did you say that? <laughs> So I think it actually fits perfectly, but for this this video, but yeah, yeah, I guess it just means. But it's not meant to be. Is it cr is it crass here or? It's not crass or rude, is it? It's just it's the a casual informal way. Like I think I blokey that. Cockney blokes would be like, oh, oh she's, she's up, up the, up the duff. Yeah. But it's it's not meant in a derogatory way. Okay, okay. I'm sure. my wife's not here. She's up duff at yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> she, she couldn't come to the pub. She's up duff. <laughs> <laughs> Like with a lisp, so <laughs> that's that. Uh, that'd be my how would we use that word? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hate uh, it. I'd rather be called preggy. Yeah. Preggy. <laughs> yeah, Leo was like, just call me preggy. Like, if I'm pregnant, just <laughs> don't say that I'm knocked up, banged up, up the daft. I don't want any of these up words. Just call me preggy. 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 <laughs> and preggy, mummy. <laughs> mummy to me. <laughs> Keep that in mind, then. Thank you. Uh, when you do get pregnant, I'm preggy. gonna give you a top that says preggy. You wanna... Oh, thanks. A maternity top. I wouldn't mind that. I don't know what's funny about it. Just... <laughs> preggy. <laughs> and like, if, if I see anyone who's pregnant, I'm like, oh, preggy. <laughs> it's so weird. Too weird. Maybe. I mean, I guess it's better than saying, oh, you're up the duck. <laughs> yeah, up the duck. Oh, we've oh. knocked you up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've been knocked up. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, up the duff is something I don't like hearing, but we use it here. I'm not sure. Yeah. If anyone's no, using it in America, let us know in the comments if uh, yeah. if you use that word, uh, and if you use any other words for pregnancy, I'd love to know. Mm -hmm. So the last one, again, it's not uh, directly sort of inappropriate in mm -hmm. America, but it's just n not the word they would use. So it's toilet. So yeah, I I find it even now I find it so specific. When I ask, I'm like, where's the toilet? I'm just like, you're envisioning what's gonna happen. <laughs> it's so weird. But yeah, in the US I would say, where's the bathroom? Yeah. Mm. Or even like, where's the restroom or something? But restroom, uh, yeah. yeah, it's yeah, just kind of like fun. a general. But the toilet is just so specific. It's kind of like. I don't know, it's just yeah. weird and I always think yeah. about when you say like if you, you say I'm gonna go to the supermarket. <laughs> yeah. But instead of supermarket, you're like, I'm gonna go to aisle three of the supermarket. Oh, you know what yeah. I mean? Like so it's funny. just like really specific I don't know, but that's just how for Americans like that's I guess how it's it like feels. That. Yeah, exactly. yeah, because I guess yeah. like you said, you will imagine what you're doing in there. Whereas yeah. if you ask for the bathroom or the restroom, it's like, Oh, I could just be washing my hands or it could just be yeah. yeah, something yeah. Else. I, I think yeah. restroom's good, but I don't agree with when you're out at a restaurant and you're like, where's the bathroom? Because there's no bath in there. That's true. There's no bath. I've always, that's always thrown me. I'm like, just 
Personally, I try not to say toilet. I, I just say, say Lou. where's the loo? Yeah, loo. Because I got told off once by my friend's uh, Lulu's mum, if you're watching this, I um, hope she won't be. <laughs> she, I said once, where's the toilet? And she was like, oh, Lou, that's disgusting. Can you please say Lou from now on? It's disgusting. It's, it's a very hate it. upper or upper middle class thing to say Lou. Um, okay. Yeah. So she I think it. there's a slight thing like mm. the upper toilet. classes in the UK feel similarly where they're just like, oh, don't say toilet, you've got to say loo. Okay. Um, whereas I think more work class people would be like, why are you saying loo? What the? Yeah. Why is yeah. Loo? Where's the toilet? I've not brought myself. I say toilet now, but I've not oh. brought myself to say loo. Oh, I think really? it just sounds funny with an American accent. <laughs> where's the loo? <laughs> no, I think where's it's good. Where's the loo? It's like, like you're looking for someone called loo. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> where's the <laughs> but that, I feel the same Thanks. going to America and saying restroom. Like, oh, just saying quite posh. Can you tell me where the, the restroom, restroom is? Because I'd like to fall asleep in there. <laughs> <laughs> and also, yeah. it's not really a place of rest, is it? You're in and out. No, you're either pushing something out. Or, you know. <laughs> just sprinting <Yeah>. there. <laughs> anyway, too much detail. Too much. Um, exactly why toilet's weird. <laughs> yeah, it's like going, oh, Jess, where's the fridge? Obviously, it's in the kitchen. Yeah. But the supermarket is exactly. out. Yeah. 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 Oh well. Anyway, so that's all of them, guys. Mm -hmm. Let us know if there's any more, because we'd love to hear. We we love reading these kind of comments. No hate, please. Yeah. And, <laughs> uh, thanks, Jess, for joining us. Thanks yeah. for having me. That was fun. Right. Uh, we've also done a video over on your channel. What have we done there? Yeah, well, um, I brought back some American treats for these guys to try. So mm -hmm. uh, we had some Rice Krispies and some other sweet treats. Yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh, it was so good. But uh, yeah, don't forget to go and click on that on the end card or the card up there. I'm gonna give that a go. <laughs> yeah. Click on the card up there. <laughs> you can watch the video on Chess's channel. <laughs> okay, guys, bye. bye. Well, everyone, that was British words for a rude in America. To me, only one or maybe two of those words were rude. But the rest of them, I didn't think were rude at all. Excuse what I'm going to say here, yes, I know it is very rude in America. But in the UK, it's not. Word fag. That just means like out here, people say like, they say smoke a fag, or asking somebody if you got a fag on ye or that, or can you sell me a fag? I know that is very rude in America, and I don't smoke, so I would never ever use that word in America, wouldn't I? But that's one of the roots I think, what is truly the worst in America. Smoke use use. And I know they showed you like some foods that say faggot. And I knew faggot was short for fag to any of that. I think. No, they didn't even know it, they never. But I thought the whole world knew faggot was short for fag. No, fag is short for faggot, I mean, but they're backwards here. But doesn't fag not just mean gay person? I know you can't just say, oh, you're a fag. They will take offence to it. But in the UK, if you say somebody, you're a fag. You say, yeah, I do not, I'm not, a, no. If you say somebody in the UK, you're a fag. They'll probably say, yeah, no, sorry, I've not got any. Thing like, you're asking for a cigarette or that, but you're no. But, yeah, that's that, but I'm getting that word out the way of us. <sighs> Bathroom. You can't use it in supermarkets or that, aye, I know that, I understand that. I'm going to the bathroom. It doesn't have a bath. It just has a toilet and a sink. So, because it just has a toilet and a sink, you can just say, I'm going to the toilet. When I go to America any time at all, I've never been to America yet, but if I do go to America and when I do, I will be saying, I'm going to the toilet. If I'm in somebody's house or whatever, and somebody just says to me, where you going? If I, have to, if I have to excuse myself, I'll say to them, oh, I'm going to the toilet for the minute. I'll be back in a few minute. I've had, because I think in America, no, in America, I think in Canada, they use the word war, eh, uh, Washroom, I think. 
So that's like you're just gonna need to wash yourself. And that's not a rude mod, that's what I'm saying. And like the mod restroom. We got day for sleep for it. We'll get the restroom. <sighs> you wanna sleep? Don't know why that they put it in, put it in this video. But the mod up the duff. That is a funny word for you, is that it would be it's just a slang for he says scousers for in Scotland. Some me some people use it in Scotland. Depends where you live, no. I would say if I see an ass pregnant, oh she's up the duff. Or I would say normal. Like, are you pregnant or she's pregnant? Even myself, I have been asked, are you pregnant? I was like, eh, no, I'm not pregnant, sorry. This old woman asked me, a couple of, I think it was a couple of years ago, and I was at Asda food shopping. She came at me, and she's done, aww, what, do you know what you're having? And I thought she was talking about my food or something, because I was just at the supermarket. I went, I, I know what I'm having for dinner today. She looked at me, I said, no, I don't mean that, I mean, your baby. I said, oh, I'm not pregnant. That gave me a chuckle, it did. I said, she said, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I don't mean that, I'm sorry. I said, that's all right. But that did give me a chuckle, it did. But anyway, up the duff, you see. But I did have a mutual friend at high school. Her second name was Duff. Just to take the piss out of her, Will says, Are you up the duff? I was not going to mention her name, but then I done, Don't mention her name, don't. So I just mentioned her second name. And I know she won't be watching us, because I've not seen her in over 20 odd year. Or maybe 30 odd, no. 20 odd year I've not seen her. So, yeah. Oh. And I don't know. What other words? What one minute? I only clicked the video to see what other words we picked again. So I've seen, I've seen a few. Aye. Before I get to it, because I've no words to trust on now, there. Homely. You don't use the word homely in Scotland. I don't know if you use it in England. But they say it like in America. You see somebody, go to somebody's house. Oh, that's very homely. Like this is talking about somebody's in the house is nice and comfort looking, homely. But in America this is it's called somebody's house ugly, somebody's old home wreck wrecked and decrepit and stuff. I've never had that word in my vocabulary before. Vocabulary. I can't pronounce words as I say. But yeah. See that I when you say somebody, well, your house is homely. If you see me yawning, it says I'm just up about an hour ago or something or two, and I'm still way a bit tired of my, but, yeah. So, just like that. And that word just came into my head, what they were saying, as soon as I switched this video on to look for other words I've missed. Ah. Another word I was just talking about. Rubber. I, like... I don't think I've got any. If I do, it's in a bag, maybe the boat or something. But it's just like, the guy says an eraser. If you like draw something with a pencil and you spelt it wrong, you get the eraser, aka rubber, you rub it out your day. Because it's made of rubber it is. You just rub it out. But I don't know. You just call that a Tony, nah, no, you call that a condom. And yesterday I was arguing with my mom, my mum about it, I was. But, things got a wee bit heated. So I was trying to tell her the two meanings. 
shaped and I know I know what it means, I know what it means to get trained at me and stuff, so I it can get thing when people think they know what they mean, but some people don't. I'm good I can I am I'm, I'm good, I laugh myself. That's why if I'm talking about people I can just say that, like we face. But I as a day know like rubbers in America are Johnny's cause I think it was I was watching somebody's reaction on YouTube the other day. Mean Girls. See Mean Girls for years and years. I love it. I did. But the teacher in it was handing out rubbers during this rubber. So you don't get pregnant. But then, I was thinking to myself. If it, even I've seen it from years now. I was thinking to myself. You need to do that out here. There's a rubber for you. Don't get pregnant. Can I get pregnant with this? <laughs> I uh, hear just call them condoms, or there's other words we use, but oh sorry, like Johnny's, do you call them Johnny's out here? Like that, like that, that I say, says, I think her name's Lynn, maybe, I don't know, but she says, it's like her brother's name is Johnny, and she says she's called, like for a joke, Rubber Johnny and stuff, because they're rubbers. That so, yeah. Well, let's see if that's all the words then. I think that's like all the words. So, if it says maybe up the duff and the word fag, maybe they two are controversial, maybe. Like the worst ones for America, I don't know, maybe, but you know all these were the rude bands, but I thought they said they did do American words, or what is it, American words that are rude in England, so that means, it says they've actually got the word England in the video, so I'm looking at the, looking at the title now. It does not say Scotland, Wales, or Northern Ireland. So, if they say words, I might not understand it. Because if they have not been to Scotland and done their research with words, then it's a different matter it is. But I'll be checking out that video next, everyone. So, that'll be like tomorrow or something. So, tune in for some videos. These two people will be joining. I won't actually be joining them. I'll be reacting to their videos. So... I'll be joining them, if you know what I mean. So, I'll see you then. Until then, everyone, have a good day, good night, good week, good weekend. Stay safe, and I'll see you then. See you next one. Bye, everyone.